The holidays are just around the corner and if you're anything like me, you probably have a lot of Christmas shopping to do. Well, don't worry, I have you covered. and welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana and this is Tours to Local, a place where I share with you guys my travel tips, city guides, product reviews, and stories from my adventures. It's just a lot of fun here, so if you're a traveler and you love to learn more about the world, take a chance to subscribe down below and check out my other videos. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into this video. In this week's videos, I'll be giving you guys a little list of my top 10 recommendations for those travelers in your life who you need to buy presents for. I have 10 different recommendations for you guys, so let's just get right into it. First up is one of my most favorite and unique discoveries and I think this one is so special. This is the Wanderer bracelet and it is this customizable bracelet you can get that is handmade in Bali that you can get your initials and your friend or your partner's initials on as well. It symbolizes that your paths have crossed and I think it is just the cutest, most personalized gift you can give someone who's really special to you. They don't only just have the paths crossing bracelet, they also have one that they can put the location, um, the coordinates of where you first met, which I think is so, so special. And it's really cool, it has a drawstring, you can choose what color you want the bracelet's um, thread to be. And best of all, this bracelet is this great cooperative that gives jobs to people in Bali. They can make these bracelets from home, which means they are able to spend time with their loved ones. And it is just one of those companies that's one of those feel good ethical companies. And the fact that this bracelet is so charming and really personalized, I think that's why it's definitely number one on my list. Number two is kind of a big one. It is a vintage travel poster. Yeah, it's huge. You can also get them in a more small size like this, but no matter what you choose, vintage travel posters are a great way to give your traveler friend a gift that they can make their home um, into their own little travel sanctuary, I guess. So I love decorating my house with things from my adventures. So this fun little poster is great. Um, there's so many different ones for like every major city in the world. I just found this one on Amazon. And I'll leave the link to everything I'm mentioning down below you guys so you can surely check those out. Next up is number three, travel size beauty products. Now there's a lot of different things I could show you guys. Um, but basically just going into your local Ulta or Sephora and going straight for that section where it's just like mini sized things. Oh my God, I would love to get just a couple of things from there because when you're traveling, you wanna get travel sized things and also be able to try out new products. So just shop around there and find a couple of things. Um, I mean, you could get like a Smashbox eyeshadow thing. I thought this one was great because it has like three different main colors that I use. So it's nice and portable. Um, a travel size brush. This one was from Sephora and it really just does so much. It could be for contour, for blush, for highlight, for foundation even. So something so small that is so versatile is good. Also, like I said, like little makeup sampler things. So this like Lancome um, primer for your eyelashes came with three other mascara type things. And I thought this was just so cool that it comes in a little kit and it's something I definitely wouldn't buy for myself. So a little travel size stuff. Also this wet brush. I love wet brushes because they're so much better for your hair when you're just getting out of the shower. This one's travel size, so I can just throw it in my bag and it gets rid of all my tangles without causing any damage. So number four is one I have been seeing in a lot of other travel gifts suggestions and it's because it is a good one the portable charger this is one I got for a Christmas gift last year you just charge this up on its own and then you bring a USB and you can charge your phone or your camera batteries or whatever anywhere you want this one is from power core power core mini and there's a lot of other ones out there that can hold stuff for an even longer time and you can plug in more things at a time but this one just does the job Good for an extra cell phone charge, especially when you're on the airplane and your phone's dying and you know you need it to get a lift when you land. So this is perfect for those emergency moments where you just need a little bit of charge. Number five is another general category, but gift cards, especially gift cards to places like Airbnb. Um, my friend Jamie Banks mentioned hotels.com, which I thought was extremely useful. Southwest, um, anything travel related. Also Starbucks. Okay, now one of the classic ways I've heard 
to save money for travel is do not buy coffee out, okay? They always say save that money and you could be surprised by how much you have left for traveling. So for that reason, I don't go to Starbucks a lot. So getting Starbucks gift cards is definitely a treat for me and it's not something I would normally get for myself, but having a gift card with the money that they're giving me, it's like, I'm able to spend that on myself. So it's a nice little touch or any sort of, like I said, travel gift cards. There's stuff for everything nowadays. So that's also a nice little thing to do. Number six, Ray-Bans. Now sunglasses are so important when you're traveling. I've learned the importance of investing in a good pair, which I never did before. I always just buy cheap stuff from Forever 21. But having like a nice proper pair of sunglasses, you just take much better care of them. They're better for your eyes and better for those Instagram photos. They are like a little bit pricier. Maybe I got these ones for like 131. They're the Wayfarer design or something like that. Um, like I said, links to everything down below because I don't know what their name is. I feel like buying nice sunglasses for me isn't something I would normally do for myself. Um, getting them as a gift is definitely, it's nice because I mean, they're just quality, they last forever and this would be a great gift for someone who's really, really important to you. Next up is number seven, a sarong. Now sarongs are one of my favorite things to get when I'm traveling because um, they are so versatile. So this one is one I got in Brazil of the Brazilian flag, but there's a lot more cuter ones out there that serve the purpose I'm about to tell you. Basically they can be used as a beach towel, which is so functional, as well as a scarf, or even like a skirt or a dress. You can use them in so many different ways. So I'll leave a link to a couple of cute ones down below, but these are so multifunctional and your friend will really appreciate it. Next is number eight, and this one is for your Instagram loving friends. We all have a friend who has a big DSLR and it's a great little thing to give them a nice camera bag to hold all of their equipment in. Now, this is something that is on my list this Christmas, so I don't have one to show you guys. Um, however, I'll leave a picture right over here of the one I want. But basically, anything that is kind of cute that they can just store a couple of lenses or DSLRs aren't too expensive and really can add a lot to their quality of traveling instead of having to throw their DSLR into their handbag or whatever. Having this nice bag to put stuff in and put some other things for your little day trip is really, really nice. Number nine is a Polaroid camera. This one is that Intax, Instax Mini 8 Plus Fujifilm classic. And these are so, so cute. This is actually my sister's and when we go on vacation, we love to take photos with it because they print out instantly. I know some people who even they will take pictures of like kids they meet on the road, especially in more third world countries where maybe they don't get photos of them taken a lot. It's such a nice little thing if you could take a photo of you with someone and give it to them as like a little memento. So to have this camera as a traveler really does have a lot of purposes and plus it just looks so cool. So um, one of these cameras with maybe a starter pack of a couple of Polaroid film things they could put inside is a really, really nice gift. And lastly, number 10, this is for those travelers who love to write about their experiences. It's the I Was Here Travel Journal. This one is really cute uh, because it has all sorts of different prompts on it. It has like little challenges, like this one says, at a local convenience store, purchase a toiletry brand that you do not recognize, start a collection of this particular item, and search for more on future trips you take. Treat them as your souvenirs. That's a super, super good tip. I might make a whole video about that one, but they had like all these pictures of toothpaste, uh, and they said, for one day, shoot all photos from hip height without looking through the viewfinder. That would be so good to like print out your Polaroids and put them in here. But anyway, this is just so cute. Like, it's all these different prompts. Oh my god, I love this. It's a really nice gift. I would really appreciate receiving something like this, so. Yeah, that's number 10. Now there are plenty of gift ideas for the traveler in your life and I would love to hear some recommendations from you guys of what I can get my friends because I don't want to get them any of the things they just saw in this video. So leave your suggestions and comments down below and I would really appreciate that. Also, if you didn't know, I have an Instagram and it's super fun because I get in touch with a lot of you guys through it and we chat and we talk about travel and it's great. And I let you guys see my stories and all my insight into my life. So so please check that out. It's 
tourist to local, just like this channel. I also have Twitter and Facebook, so that's all there down below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, I've picked these videos for you guys to check out. And once again, don't forget to hit my face over here to subscribe because that's the biggest way to let me know that you like this video. All right, guys, that's all for now. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. See you next time. Bye.